This is the interior of Zamzam Tikka Kebab. It's a Pakistani restaurant. The interior wasn't luxurious. It was mid-range, from the decorations to the chairs, tables, and glasswares. Guys, this is a close-up of their menu, whole menu. Guys, if you don't like the traditional drinks, you can also order canned drinks like Coke, Fanta Crush, and etc. Guys, if you don't want to travel to Pakistan and spend thousands of dollars, you need to come to this restaurant, Zamzam Tikka Kebab, and try the authentic Pakistani dish. We ordered two of their famous dish. One was a veal karahi, other one was chicken tikka masala. Both of the dish came with complimentary naan bread and we substituted one naan bread for the rice also came with salad this is the veal karahi you're looking at she is trying the chicken tikka masala with the rice the rating for this dish is 7.5 out of 10 the rating for the veal karahi is 8.5 out of 10 taste a bit better sorry guys after this clip i had to cut to the next scene because i forgot to press the record button This is the salad I was talking about and it came with raita mint chutney. The salad was average but after taking the mint chutney, tasted really good. The rating for the salad is 7 out of 10. We ordered two of the drinks. One was followed at the one you're looking at. And don't forget that it will make a huge mess, so keep tissues in hand. And this is water that comes with your dish. And this is another drink, is mango rasi, made with fresh mango and milk and some other ingredients. And this drink was really sweet. According to him, the rating is 7 out of 10. Also, the mango, mango lassi was sweet and the taste is 7 out of 10. The naan bread was really freshly made in store, hot and really tasty with the both curries. Shot, you will see the cashier calculating the price of the food my friend and his girlfriend ate, not mine. Butter chicken, one flour rice, yeah. one faluda, yeah. one mango lassi. Yeah. The price for two people came up to $37.50. He's paying by card. 